Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, we are going to be doing a reading and energy update for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. So I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend so far and I've definitely felt this lightening up of the energy as we've been exiting the eclipse that many of us have experienced. So let me know if you've been feeling a little bit of a lighter energy recently, or if not, how you've been doing generally in your life. Of course, we all are on different waves and timelines, energetically speaking, but it's so beautiful that we can connect here through this virtual space on YouTube to uplift and support and inspire each other in this journey through life. So here we have the card strength. Now, this really speaks to bravery, confidence, courage. I feel like someone is really tapping into a newfound inner strength. But the thing about this strength is that it's coming from the third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra is the seat of our intuition. So whoever I'm speaking to here, you have tapped into a newfound strength within yourself, but this is coming from your profound ability to move in connection with your own intuition. I feel like you are really stepping forward in a positive way in something in your life. With the King of Wands, this is a very strong leadership card. So I'm getting that you might be coming into an era of leadership, being some type of leader, maybe in your industry, in your space, when it comes to a passion that you might have. If you aren't yet feeling yourself in this place of leadership, know that this could be speaking to the recognition that's coming to you because I'm hearing that people are beginning to recognize whoa, okay, I got a correction from my spirit guides, not necessarily recognizing, but finally seeing what's been there all along within you. You've always been this leader, but I'm hearing that because you've been a spiritual leader into the new world, into the new earth, for a while, you may have actually been treated as an outcast. You may have been rejected. You may have been misunderstood. People may have thought that your way of doing things or your way of going about operating, living your life wasn't going to work because it was so different because they didn't understand the way that you were and are being so intuitively guided, but that is changing. Again, you're receiving this recognition, which is really just being seen fully for who you've always been being recognized for your light. And I'm hearing that increasingly we are going to see on the planet that illusions are being peeled back and things and people are going to be increasingly seen and recognized for what they really are authentically. And what that means is that Darkness and shadow is going to be increasingly revealed as well and brought to the light, but also in your case, as someone who's been cultivating this light within, someone who's carried this beautiful, warm, kind, compassionate, gifted spirit, you are going to be noticing that that spirit that's always been within you, that again, may have been rejected or misunderstood at some point, is going to be increasingly revealed and evident to the people around you. And in addition to that, and in connection with that, dreams that you've had, that you've held within your heart, within yourself, visions you've created in secret, so to speak, are going to be revealed and made known through manifestations that are going to be 
showing themselves physically in your life. Now, since we're talking about manifestation, I do want to share with you as well my personal favorite tool for manifesting in my own life, and these are subliminals. So for those of you who don't know, subliminals are audio meditation tracks that contain unconscious spoken affirmations. And the powerful thing about these affirmations is that they are designed to target the subconscious mind. So the affirmations are embedded within other sounds, tones, and frequencies. And this actually allows them to bypass the conscious mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind, which really is the powerhouse of our entire energetic field because research has shown our subconscious essentially controls 95% of everything we think, everything we do, everything we experience. So when we reprogram what's happening in the subconscious mind, it's like this fast track to manifesting our desires, many of which we may have been holding on for some time. Personally, I have seen more radical shifts and results using subliminals than through any other meditation or manifestation tool. And because I'm so passionate about them, I've created my own library of subliminals that I am now offering to you through my app Sound and Soulful, which has recently launched in both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. As you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for essentially every area of life, for love, relationships, for manifestation, money, mood, mind power, and so much more. And when you sign up for a seven-day free trial account in the app, you get access to my entire library of subliminals. You can also create your own custom private playlists, and you can even read the affirmations while you are listening. So the link to download my app and sign up for a free trial account is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. Okay, so here we have the King of Cups card. So this card represents someone who's very deeply in touch with their own emotions. I feel that this may be a masculine energy that you are going to be partnering with, collaborating with in some way. If it's romantic, this could be someone that you are going to have a romantic kind of partnership with. This also could be a kind of business partnership as well. The thing I'm hearing most dominantly about this masculine is that this is going to be someone who really connects with you from that place of strength and confidence and personal empowerment within yourself. And my guides are wanting me to emphasize this because you may have had individuals in your past who attempted to connect with you or latch onto you from lower vibrational places or even try to connect with outdated versions of your own self essentially when you would connect with or speak with or interact with these people you may have felt this heaviness around your energy because that was your indication from your intuition that they were trying to connect with a lower vibrational version of you that was highly outdated the difference is this is a masculine energy who, again, whether it's a friend, a business partner, a kind of collaboration or a romantic opportunity, this is someone who connects with you from your place of power and confidence. And they seem to really admire you when you are in your king of wands energy as well. When you are in this state of leadership, they seem to be very supportive of you in all of that and also supportive of you connecting in this space of confidence and strength and receiving all of this recognition. Because I'm getting as well that moving into the future, you will find that as you receive increasing amounts of recognition, as more of your so-called true self is revealed to the world, your beautiful spirit your dreams, your visions that you've held within those secret places of your heart, as more of that is increasingly evident and revealed 
to the collective, you are going to trigger certain reactions of jealousy from certain individuals. In fact, there may be times where you begin to connect with someone and initially the connection feels really good. You feel that it's mutual, again, whether this is a friend or a romantic situation. And then you might suddenly find that that person pulls away, becomes distant, or even seems to reject you. And this can be extremely confusing for someone who is highly empathic like yourself, for someone who is carrying a lot of light and enjoys being around others who carry a lot of light, because what I'm getting is you are someone who is drawn to those who carry light like yourself because you in a sense have nothing to hide, meaning you're living very openly and authentically and in alignment with yourself. You've done a lot of shadow work. You're not afraid of going deep in connections. In fact, you seem to really value those connections where you can open up those raw parts of yourself that others might consider to be messy or chaotic, whether it's parts of your past, parts of your internal self, you love and gravitate towards connections that allow you to really show those raw, vulnerable parts of yourself and allow the other to do the same. But there are some who are triggered by light because they are not willing to face certain shadow aspects of themselves, certain aspects of themselves that are messy, that are more raw and more vulnerable. And so when they spend time around you, initially there is this feel good effect from your light, but there is almost like this delayed reaction of triggering at times, because as that light, as that high vibrational energy begins to work within them, it comes up against these blockages and these parts of themselves that are brought to their consciousness that are meant to be faced, that are meant to be absorbed into the light of their consciousness and very few people are willing to be on that path of constant self-development, self-evaluation, self-growth that is required to be someone who is consistently connecting with a being that carries as much light as you do. So don't be phased if certain people do seem to pull back or disconnect from you or feel triggered at times. This doesn't necessarily mean as well that they will never connect with you because these may be individuals who will connect with you on a higher timeline at a later date in the future. Although, of course, time doesn't really exist from that level of the quantum when we're talking about energy, but from a human perspective, we might think of it as future when these souls may be willing to re-enter your life or connect with you in a stronger way. But I feel that a major theme coming through these readings has been to really move with the flow of the landscape of the connections entering and leaving our life to allow what is meant for us what is capable of connecting with us on a higher timeline to show up for us, to enter our lives, to connect with us consistently, while what is not willing to align with us on those higher timelines will naturally disconnect from us or fade out from our life. And again, sometimes that fading out is temporary. This doesn't mean forever, but we are really being called to be in flow with all of that so here I have the card stuck, loss, feminine, and journal. The word journal has been coming out so much in recent readings. It actually came out in the last reading I posted as well. So you may be interested to check out my most recent reading also. But what I'm getting is that there is the need to be processing at this moment in time because there are radical shifts taking place for you internally. So if you are ever feeling a kind of stuckness, a kind of heaviness, if you're feeling as though life is almost forcibly slowing you down at certain times, allow yourself to surrender to that experience and to sit with whatever's coming up for you and process it in whatever way intuitively feels aligned for you. So yes, for some of you listening, 
That might look like traditional journaling, journaling thoughts or things that are coming to your mind. For others of you, that might look like creating, that might look like getting out into nature, walking, just being with yourself, nurturing your body, some form of self-care. Much of this processing will be happening or is happening subconsciously as well. So if you aren't necessarily feeling guided to any specific activity like journaling, like meditating, etc., then allow yourself to simply participate in self-care, to do activities that feel good for you to care for your body, to nourish yourself, and to just in doing so facilitate the subconscious processing of these shifts that is occurring through your physical body. Your body is a vessel for this sacred journey that you are on, for these energetic downloads and upgrades that are happening within you. So self-care and self-nourishment have been themes that have really, really been highlighted in recent videos. So it's not surprising that that's coming up again here. I am sensing though, there might be a specific person who is feeling very stuck on you and at times you might pick up on that person's energy and this might actually cause you to feel a kind of stuckness or heaviness in your own being. This is someone who is dealing with some kind of loss. So they might be dealing with the loss of you. So you may have stepped away from this person romantically. For others of you, they might be dealing with a loss in their own life. So whatever loss this person is going through, whether it's the loss of your connection of you or something else in their life, they're feeling very stuck at the moment and that stuckness might manifest itself in your field as heavy energy. So you might find it beneficial to participate in energy clearing exercises and rituals. Whenever you do feel this tension or this heaviness coming up for you to really pay attention to where you feel that heavy energy in your physical body, especially, and perhaps stretching that area or breathing into it, doing a visualization where you're imagining yourself breathing air into that aspect of your body that's feeling that heaviness or that tension. Because very often we can feel these soul ties or soul connections when we receive energy from another person through a specific part of our body that can even connect with the chakra center that they are actually sending that energy to. So specifically, this may be someone you feel in your sacral or your solar plexus because they themselves are dealing with sacral blockages, feeling a sense of rejection, of abandonment, or a fear of rejection. This is also someone really struggling with their own sense of self-confidence, which is why the solar plexus chakra might be affected here as well. Now we did get in connection with this, a bit of a heavy spread of cards as well. The two of swords representing really sitting on the fence, feeling divided, that might be your energy, but I strongly feel it could be this person who's connected to you as well. With the Five of Cups, yeah, this once again represents that loss, that sense of grief. This is someone in a very pessimistic headspace as well. They may be in the process of a deep self-discovery through this grief, through this loss they're experiencing. But the thing about this is... You have risen above that level at this point. You're on a much higher timeline. So while this person does seem to be on a positive trajectory overall, meaning they are experiencing this necessary loss or grief so that they can ultimately introspect, go on this journey of self-discovery, expand themselves and raise their vibration. At this moment, they're not very aligned with you from an energetic perspective because you have done your own healing work. You've risen to a higher timeline. You're there holding the space. So I feel as though this is someone who 
if they do desire more of a manifested physical 3d connection with you they are going to have to rise to your level in a sense they're going to have to do their own introspective healing work of self-discovery and align with you on that higher timeline but this person is coming up as saying i underestimated how important you are in my life i'm scared you will reject me and also I should have fought for you. So maybe this is someone who took you for granted, who didn't fully fight for your connection when the two of you may have been more 3D connected in the past. Again, this is so confirming with that sacral blockage coming up for them with, I'm scared you will reject me. This is someone who definitely has a fear of rejection in a general sense, and this might make them very hesitant in general when it comes to taking action because it's almost like their intuition will push them to take an action but then their mind will get in the way because they'll be so fixated on the outcome we literally got the outcome card coming out here so this is someone who will obsess over but if i take that action that i've been intuitively guided to take how will they respond or what will happen or will i be rejected this is someone who definitely blocks their own intuition by overthinking the actions that they're actually being guided to take. And that may have actually played into why there is some kind of separation between the two of you here in the physical with the separation card coming out here. But I do still sense a very strong 5D bond. In fact, we're getting the lovers card reversed on the heart chakra. So this may be a twin flame or a very high level soulmate connection where the two of you are very much interacting in the fifth dimension in the higher realms even as in the physical there may be these disconnects because of this person's hesitancy at the moment to fully take action on their intuition without overthinking it with blessing of zara coming out from the rumi oracle i am going to read a final message from the Rumi guidebook, but I do want to let you know as well that I do have an Instagram where I post more energy updates, inspiration, and information. And my Instagram is at magnetize yourself. Also, if you do resonate with my energy, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Okay, so the final card here is, again, Blessing of Zara, and the message is, let go of thought, don't take it into your heart, you are naked, and thought is like ice, you use thought to seek release from suffering and pain, while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. O oh, foolish one, see the opus, behold the beauty, look in the direction from which the images flow, see the brook that causes the wheel to turn, Rumi. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. It's interesting because that card came out in another recent reading collectively last week as well. So it's always interesting to see how these trends and threads of energy carry through multiple different reading videos and continue to evolve. And of course, I am so appreciative to each and every one of you here for being co-creators so essential to that process of co-manifesting all of the messages and videos that come through this channel. So again, if you do feel a resonance here, I would invite you to subscribe. And if you are interested in learning more about my subliminals and using the subliminals I've created to assist you in manifesting your dreams, goals, and desires in life, the link to download my app is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love. Have a beautiful day and I will connect with you here again in the next video.